Pick up in three, two, one, T minus nine minutes and counting. Ground launch sequencer is now controlling the countdown events. Over a thousand launch parameters being monitored now by the computer, which can stop the countdown at any time that any one of those parameters falls out of limits. And we'll carry the countdown until T minus 31 seconds when Columbia, Columbia's computers take over. At T minus 8 minutes 37 seconds and counting, this is shuttle launch control. PLT, OTC, configure fuel cell essential bus source switches. But OTC, PLT, is that configuration is complete. Okay. This is shuttle launch control at T minus 7 minutes, 35 seconds and counting. Preparing now to retract the orbiter access arm, which can be put back into position very quickly if there be a problem. APU, OTC. Who's APU? Yeah, like you to acknowledge the caution prior to step 1040. APU acknowledges. Copy that. JRPS OTC, start APU and hydraulic strip chart recorders. JRPS copies and recorders are running. And we'll be going into the auxiliary power unit pre-start activities in about 10 seconds. If you pre-start inward. And OTC PLT, please start complete. Great pack backs on one and three, Bob will pull down two as expected. Okay. Standing by for APU pre start in about thirty seconds. All flight recorders are running. Yeah, let's go for orbiter APU start. OTC copies, PLT OTC, perform APU start. APU start in with OTC. Reconfigure heaters. Heater reconfigure is complete. Okay. Firing chain and the SRB and external tank range safety systems are being armed now. For DC PLT 3 APU starts. For DC copies, at 1051.
Ken Rominger reporting the APUs look good. T-minus four minutes. This is the main engine helium purge sequence, which prepares the engines for main engine start. Engines now being gimbled as a steering check for Columbia. T minus three minutes, vehicle on internal power. Let's go to pressurize the liquid oxygen tank on the external tank. PLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. The beanie cap, the gaseous oxygen vent hood now being retracted. Memory cleared, no unexpected errors. OTC copies. And Columbia OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 slow, and enjoy a weightless Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is good for ET. Right, uh, we sure appreciate all your work for this flow and this morning, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. I do that. Flash metal liquid hydrogen now terminated, and the hydrogen tank is pressurized. One minute, 30 seconds. Sound suppression water system now being armed. Solid rocket booster joint heater is now being turned off. Final check of booster commands. Locks and LH2 fill and vein valves are closed. External tank strut heaters are now off. Taylor Bay vent doors are positioned. As a three, LCC violation. And we have a hold. Clock at 31. NTD, this is, hold. NTD, this is the propped up. Our limit is now 300. Oh, excuse me, sir. We have a hold. Stopwatch started. The entity, uh, give me your latest reading. Okay, we're now, we're now trending down to 290, up to 325. We're steady at 425, 450, 450. This is hydrogen concentrations in the aft. 70. We're going to 590. Five seventy. Five seventy. Five seventy. And at DDC Prop, we've got about forty five seconds left to go. Five hundred. 
And uh, we have confirmed this looks like low pressure leakage, so this is an acceptable amount of leakage to launch with. Okay, I've got 520 right now. Copy, uh, SC Anthony. SC copies. 575. 610. 580. I'm watching the hydrogen concentrations, which are trending above and below acceptable limits. If you didn't see prop, it appears to me that we're on the edge, but that we've got an acceptable limit. I'm looking at 575 here on the console. Has guess what are you reading at this 575. point? 575. I'd give you my recommendation that we continue. I copy that. ST entity? ST copies. And, and your concurred. recommendation? We uh, concur to go. I copy that. Launch director entity? Launch director, go ahead. Okay, based upon the trending, it's maintaining around 600. Uh, the test team is recommending to proceed with the countdown. Uh, entity standby, sir. Has that? What you're reading at this point? 600. Okay, I copy. 550 at this time. Record and continue, sir. Copy that. NTD, you're clear. Copy that. GLS entity, pick up count on your mark. GLS copy. I'll resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. GLS auto, GLS scope, auto sequence start. 25. Solid hydraulic, 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 solid rock resistor hydraulic power units have started. Sound suppression water system armed. Rain safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, 7, 6, three main engines up and burning, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Entering Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Columbia is in a heads down, wings level position, headed to its 190 nautical mile orbit. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Columbia's engines are now beginning to throttle down to 67% of rated thrust. As the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Columbia, Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. Two minutes, 18 seconds into the flight, the booster officer has confirmed good separation of the solid rocket boosters and performance on board Columbia has been as expected. All three main engines are continuing to perform at 104% of rated thrust. The three auxiliary power units and fuel cells are also continuing to perform as expected. Columbia now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of 55 miles, an altitude of 42 miles, traveling 3,290 miles per hour. Columbia Houston, two engine Ben Greer. Two engine 
Lands and Vin. Spacecraft communicator Kurt Brown telling the crew that now in the event of a single engine failure, Columbia could reach the transatlantic landing site at Ben Gurir, Morocco. However, all three main engines continuing to perform as expected. Columbia now downrange 95 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 54 miles. Speed is 4,000 miles per hour.